What's up everyone, my name is Ryan, and in today's video, we have the Yankees finally kind of breaking through here against uh, Cincinnati, getting a 7-6 win, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. It looked really bad for the Yankees early on. They go down 4 nothing. You know, Severino looked terrible tonight, and it's probably rooted in some sort of fatigue or injury. Uh, it was some sort of shoulder tightness, uh, and we will find out more tomorrow after an MRI. Uh, he gave up four runs and two innings, not great. Um, you know, Sears comes in, he gives two runs over three and two thirds, which on the surface is, isn't great, but struck out five guys, did a job coming in, you know, kind of cold. A birdie who gave you one inning of scoreless ball, gave up two hits, pretty soft hit balls, got a strikeout in there, didn't walk anyone. Wandy gets a big strikeout of Joey Vada with runners on. Chapman has a uh, scoreless, a clean inning, still walked someone, so the command isn't fully back and. You kind of wonder when it will be. And Clay Holmes also had a similarly shaky outing. Um, it looked really dicey there, but he was able to get out of it. And that's, I think that's a big confidence booster for him, especially coming off of his worst outing of the season. And then Michael King absolutely nails. He has been awesome all year. He's had his rough stretches, but he's come fully alive in the last month and a half after a pretty rocky end to May. So that's a really exciting to see, especially considering that, you know, Holmes is struggling a little bit. The Yankee bullpen's a little depleted. Seeing King come in and step in and, you know, get that big out is, or those big three outs is huge. Looking nasty as always, getting a strikeout and a double play after giving up a ground ball single, preventing the Reds from scoring and giving the Yankees the opportunity to walk it off in the bottom of the 10th, which they did on two wild pitches. You know, the Yankees got a lot of offense from a lot of different places tonight. They got two hits from LeMahieu. He was the game winning run and it was on his birthday, which is pretty cool to see. Um, you know, they got a big home run from Stanton in the bottom of the eighth to tie the game up. And they had a big, big night from Isaiah Connor Falefa, who had two doubles, drove in three runs, and really just looked a lot better tonight. Um, I know he had a throwing error, and so defensively, still not, you know, still not all the way back there. But offensively, lately, he's been hitting, I believe, over 300 um, on base rate. Uh, the on base percentage is over 350. Uh, I believe his WRC plus is over 100 as well. So those are really good signs for him. Um, you hope he can get himself back a little bit offensively, get that OPS plus closer to 95 to 100, be kind of an average hitter, if not a little bit worse, if possible, you know, a little bit worse to average, you take it. Um, the pitching, by the way, the bullpen, they looked phenomenal tonight. Last night was really tough, tough for them. The Boston series really tough for them. So getting a great, great outing from your bullpen is really encouraging, especially considering the depletions they've had. Herman and Loisaga could be on their way back. Herman scheduled to take another rehab start, but that could change with Severino's shoulder tightness. Kind of adds a more pressure for the Yankees to add a starter. I imagine Herman slots in for Severino. If Severino's out for an extended period of time, hopefully he's not. We'll find out more again after he gets an MRI. And, you know, just ultimately for the Yankees, look, it's a bad team, sure, but you, you stop the losing streak. You, you end it there. Um, you give yourself a chance to win the series tomorrow. Get yourself back on your winning ways before Boston comes into town and try to get something going before the All-Star break and keep yourself from slipping that that's huge for the Yankees. I know again, not a great team and people can point to that, but these are the type of wins you need. Um, a loss here would have been really, really bad. A win here is obviously a lot, lot better. So um, if this win doesn't really matter to you, then you would say a loss doesn't matter to you. But I, I think everyone would sit here and say a, a series loss to Cincinnati Reds and being on the verge of getting swept is a lot different than walking away tonight with a chance to win the series tomorrow. Um, Yankees will be facing Luis Castillo, who, you know, big guy for the Yankees to look at because he's clearly, clearly the top starting pitching market, the top, top option on the starting pitching market for the Yankees. He's going up against Nestor. Nestor struggling against Boston, looking to rebound a little bit here. Um, you know, big chance for the Yankees to get a series, kind of steal a series here after they haven't really played too well all series. The defense has been a little shaky. The starting pitching tonight wasn't great. The bullpen was leaky the first game. Just not a great, great cohesive unit right now. But if you can kind of figure out how to steal a series win, um, you know, make tomorrow a, a game that you kind of dominate in all facets of the game. And then kind of towards the end there, uh, you know, get yourself ready for Boston. That, that'd be huge. So we'll see how they play tomorrow. We we'll see how, um, you know, the series ends up and we'll see uh, how the Yankees play against Boston, but um, big win for the Yankees tonight. And uh, yeah, if you guys like what we do, you know, you guys, 
have been great with support. Make sure, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all your support. You guys have been great. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What are you concerned about? What do you think the Yankees can get better? What are your takeaways from tonight's game? And, of course, you guys know to check, out, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All on the same handle, Fireside Yankees, and check out Empire Sports Media for all your New York sports content. You can follow me at Ryan Garcia ESM. We appreciate your guys' support, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Ryan out.